You're not going to believe what happened. A guy, a radical extremist, threatened to cut my tongue out. I wish I had a nickel. <laughs> For every time a guy has threatened to cut... <laughs> That's David Letterman joking around, but it actually is no joke. David Letterman was threatened with violence for making a political joke that, well, he didn't say what the extremist was, so I'll say it, a Muslim fundamentalist radical uh, uh, threatened with violence. But he stood firm. He didn't back down. In fact, he made jokes about it. Joining me now to talk about this growing threat to our liberties, let alone our life and limb, is Adam Turner, who joins us from Washington, D.C. He's with the Legal Project, which fights against this sort of thing. Hey, Adam, thanks for joining us. Thank you very much, Ezra. And I also wanted to thank you uh, for your courage uh, when it comes to uh, printing the 12 cartoons of Muhammad, which I know took uh, a toll on you. Well, I appreciate you saying that. You know, I felt it was the journalistically honest thing to do is to show people this news item, no matter what the threats were. And I'm pleased that David Lettersman didn't back down. He's not the... Uh, only person in Hollywood who'd be threatened, but he stood firm. Adam, let's talk about another case. You know what I'm talking about. The comedy cartoon called South Park. They uh, had an episode about drawing Mohammed, and Comedy Central, the network that plays that, they didn't let it go to air. So how pervasive are these threats from radical jihadists to censor even the mildest criticism or jokes about Islam? Well, they're very per pervasive, and it's interesting you bring up South Park because I'm a devoted fan of South Park, and I saw all of the, uh, the shows in question. And what happened was, first as a little background, in 2001, uh, South Park had an episode in which they had the super friends who are, de who are all religious icons, religious figures, including Jesus, uh, Buddha, and Muhammad. There was no problem back in 2001. But in 2006, they decided to do Muhammad again or have him appear in their cartoon. And at this point, this was after the Danish cartoons, so Comedy Central was deathly afraid of what was going to happen. And they put a black box around Muhammad when he appeared in the cartoon. And now and we just saw a clip. Cut oh, sorry, go ahead. I'm, I'm sorry. You know, uh, the front, uh, they, go ahead, sorry, you, you go ahead, Adam. Oh, and I was just going to say, and whenever his name was spoken, they bleeped that out, so you didn't know what they were referring to. And this happened with one, it was a two-part episode, and this was done by Comedy Central, not by Trey Parker and Matt Stone, who totally disagreed with this. So they returned to the subject matter in 2010, and they had another two-parter in which they were making fun of the fact that Muhammad had this amazing ability to escape any ridicule. And they had people like um, Tom Cruise was the major person in this story saying, I need to figure out how, to way, how there's a way that I can escape ridicule. So he wanted to get the power from Muhammad. But once again, they didn't show Muhammad. They kept him hidden in a, a bear suit for much of the episode. And once again, they bleeped his name. And they even bleeped out at the end of a lot of these cartoons. One of the characters gives, like, I've learned this speech. And they bleeped that out because it was talking about toleration and understanding other people's points of view and being willing to accept that that's just speech. Huh. You know, what? we just saw uh, some images from, uh, from that show where Muhammad was dressed in a bear suit. So even the bear suit was too offensive. What was Comedy Central worried about? I want to ask you this. Do you think they were worried about actual violence? Or do you think they were just worried about something far more terrifying to your exquisite Hollywood liberals? I'm talking about being called racist or Islamophobic and all the PR and human rights complaint hassles. Do you think they were really worried about being blown up or their heads hacked off or do you think they just wanted to be absolutely PC? Actually, I think they were really afraid of physical violence because what happened after the first of the two part episodes, a group called Re Revolution Muslim, which is a web, an, an Islamist group on the web, they put pictures of of a, I'm not sure that they, I'm sorry, they, they put a blog post there talking about how terrible it was what Comedy Central was doing in terms of having Mohammed on this cartoon. And they said, Trey Parker and Matt Stone have to be careful. 
this is not a warning, but if they keep doing things like this, they could end up like Theodore or Theo Van Gogh, who I'm sure you're aware of was killed in uh, the Netherlands for producing a film that uh, made light of Islam. And they also, in, on the web posts, they also had comments in which they talked about, you can go to Comedy Central, it's located here and here. Matt Stone and Trey Parker live here. So it was pretty much, I mean, it was almost lud ludicrous for them to say this is not a threat when it was so clearly a threat. You know, so I they think were very afraid. The answer in a free society that, that believes in the rule of law is when there is a threat, not to cower and reward the threat through compliance, or to use a Muslim word through submission, but rather to say, you know, we're a free country and we are now going to hunt you down and arrest you, or if you're a terrorist, we will just kill you. I think, uh, I think Comedy Central and, frankly, uh, whatever law enforcement authority should have been uh, triggered by these threats, the problem is with them. And if they were to, to be so complicit and compliant, they should hang their heads in shame. Good for the South Park guys themselves for, for trying to do it. Shame on Comedy Central. Adam Turner, final thoughts from you. Uh, do you think that uh, we're in for more of these threats and censorships? Or uh, it, it, do you think it's the new way for terrorists to silence criticism? Or do you think they're, they're still uh, one-offs or rare and occasional? Uh, they're, they're continuing and they're... They're constantly expanding their reach. I mean, it all started with Solomon Rushdie, and more and more people are getting in trouble over this. And I will say, in response to the South Park episode, the good news is the people who specifically threatened uh, Trey Parker and Matt Stone were eventually uh, arrested and indicted and are now in jail. But unfortunately, that was a huge time lag between what they did then and when they actually went to jail. And they also went to jail for other things that were unrelated. And the, the threats against South Park were sort of tacked on near the end. Adam, we got to go. Thanks very much for joining us from Washington, D.C. You keep fighting for freedom down there. We'll do our best up here. Well, thank you very much, Ezra. I really appreciate it. All right.